In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor planet. So first I want to go over a few uh, watercolor techniques. So you'll have your watercolor palette, then a couple of brushes, and then you want two cups of water. So the clear cup is your dirty water. This is where you rinse your brush. And then the colored cup is what you want to use. Um, and you always want to keep this clean. It's just the clean water. So never double dip your dirty brush into the clean water. Use the clear cup not the colored cup to rinse your brushes. You will also have a palette and this is where you want to mix your colors. So we're going to start by dipping our brush into some water and then we're going to put a few drops of that water onto the watercolor palette and lightly tap our brush into the palette. So don't dig, um, just lightly paint into the color until you get a nice even coat. And if you have too much water you can always take a paper towel to take water off. So a wash is just when you create a nice even coat of watercolor over your paper. Next we're going to rinse our brush again using the clear cup, that's the dirty water. And then we can um, create a graded wash. So a graded wash is when you have a darker color and then you can rinse your brush and start um, creating a gradient that goes from dark to light. So the more water you have on your brush, the lighter the color. Then a glaze is when you have two colors. So we're going to start the first step by painting a wash and then we'll come back to that. So wet and wet, I have a perfectly clean brush and I'm painting on clear water. So it's almost hard to see here, but I just painted just water on my paper. And now when I drop a new watercolor onto it, you can see it just sort of spreads on its own. So this is a really fun technique. So you can even do multiple colors with a wet and wet. You don't have to stick to one. And then you could always even add in more water and use your brush to kind of move the paint around. So for the glaze, I'm going to go back over my original wash with another color. And the more brush strokes you use, the more it may pick up the color underneath. So here I get kind of a purpley color, but if you don't want that to mix, just use fewer brush strokes and a little bit less water. So now for my planets, I'm using a lid here to trace a perfect circle. You can free draw it or use some other sort of template. And then on one of these planets, I decided I wanted to add some rings. So I just drew in the rings there. For the first planet, I'm going to use a blue and I'm just going to create a wash and paint around the edges. Then I'm going to decide some areas where I may want some landmass that's green. And I'm just going to leave that white for now. So once I get the shape the way I want it, then I'm going to use a wet and wet technique and just add clear water to that center area there. And then you can see I added in the green and that was, and that green just sort of starts to spread on its own. And then I just went over the areas where I wanted to add some more color. The second planet, I'm doing another wet and wet. So I painted it with clear water and now I'm just adding in some of my red watercolor and you can see that sort of just spreads on its own and I decided to go in and add some orange. Again, it's just spreading and moving and there's some white areas that's left, but I kind of liked it. So I just left it as is. My last planet, I'm using sort of a turquoisey blue and then right on top of that turquoisey blue, I added a darker blue and that did that same sort of wet and wet technique. And then I decided to sprinkle some salt on top. That creates kind of an interesting texture. So you'll see when I take the salt off, it kind of creates um, a, a rough looking texture. Last, I cre created some rings with some purple and black and then that's it.